Okay, so let's take a look at how you can install RavenDB on Windows. So if you go to RavenDB.net, you'll find a page that looks like this. We'll click on download link and let's find the Windows version. So here you see Windows is selected. You can accept the terms. Right on the right hand side, you can actually select the release like if you want some previous edition you can select and download and you can also choose the latest with nightly or for client you can do so right so we'll go to release the current one is listed here we'll just download that there is also one tool section which you can also take a look at Right. So let's see if I go here and there is tool section. As you can see, there is also tools that you can start downloading. Right. So we have both the Raven DB and the tool set. Once the download is finished, you will find that you have two setup here. First being your zip folder for the Raven DB second for tool so what we can do we will extract this right and to do that I will use 7-zip extract to this particular folder right so we'll take a look at this folder now and here you see one folder with server and the rest of them are files so what we can do here is simply copy this to some other drive right let me paste this it will take the setup there right and once we do that we can open it and right click on run.ps <coughs> so right click run with powershell Okay. as you can see it should open the powershell instance and it will also tell you termination behavior configured in profile settings so you can say don't show again right. so it says process exited with code 1 that could be because of our execution policy and we need to run this as admin this condition is right click on this particular folder copy address as text then open our terminal as administrator say yes right and here we will be navigating to the directory right so we move to d drive now let's cd here right and once we go here we can type in this particular run.ps so we can use dot forward slash run.ps1 and here you will notice that it will open RavenDB window telling you about thank you for choosing RavenDB now it will take you to license agreement accept this make sure to browse till the end right now here it will show you RavenDB setup wizard setup new cluster right or you can also use this setup package right so first thing what we can do is setting up new cluster right so next thing click next now here you have option to choose your certificate you can go without it or get let's encrypt certificate right select this now you can even enable some of the experimental features like graph api postgres 
core axle search engine so we will not enable it for now we'll just move to next now here you can see it will ask you to enter the license key you need to get one right so if we click on it it will tell you which license to get click on community edition you will have to fill up a form right at the end submit the button and you will get the key sent to your email id right so what we can do in between is basically we can open the gmail go there where you have this particular account copy the license and then you can go back to your license wizard paste the license click next now once you have your license done you can move on to your domain name right as you can see here you will have to think of some domain so let's say if i choose devnami then full domain will be devnami then you have revendb community right then you have option to click next right now here you will notice that the following configuration populates dns record from the subdomain devnami.revendb community now here what we can do we can add existing node or accept what we are being given here right here you can add your typical hostname address right so this field is required you can choose from one of these right so you can choose 000 127 or some of these so let's say if you choose this 192.168.13 which is required IP address next you can find it db node on this particular which will map to this particular ip right you can also set the port default is 38888 right and 443 is https so we'll be going there so hang in and there is studio configuration as you can see development testing production so let's go with development right then we have admin client certificate we already added that click accept and finish finally you will have to restart your instance of raven db can keep trying again allow access to firewall and at the end you can see it has downloaded one cluster settings in your downloads folder copy and then move them to your mndb directory right we have our settings now and next thing would be to simply so current node is configured requires no further action on your part Now the thing is we will have to restart the server before we can access it right so I have installed the certificate MNDB has generated client certificate please unzip the downloaded file install the certificate before restarting the server right so I have installed it right select this and click ok and if you see this interface that means you have RavenDB installed ok 
okay as you can see we already have the driven db in browser instance and you will also find that your terminal will be showing screen like this now let's read this particular screen here you can see you have server available on 127.0.0.1.51293 right you can note that down if you want or next time you will just restart the server right so basically it's your local host right and then colon then the port that it selected for you in your case it could be different in my case it's 51293 again you will also find a custom name that I added to that URL right and also that terminal it's showing one prompt where I can run the Raven DB commands right so this is the terminal interface for the database right so here it will show you all the details like course whether it's 64 or not also the ram available in the architecture at the top of this message right apart from that we will come back to our browser interface here you see the details how long it is running the url for that server then certificate cluster then cpu and memory scroll a bit down then you see the database currently we don't have any so it will tell you that part no data so create a database you have storage current size is 32 mb and you can see how much you can use so 33 gb is free for my present drive so i can use that much right so that part and then you have traffic as well so if there are any incoming outgoing requests going those will be here read and write and against which database that part is also listed here then comes in texting which is not available currently we don't have data database or anything running so it's hidden now on the left hand side you have database section server dashboard cluster dashboard manage server and about section you can also collapse this menu into icons right so simply taking the mouse over them would show you that right so that's one of the things and here you see you get all the options to get started with your raven db database so from this point onwards you can create the database run the crud queries like you do with your typical uh, database but in considering this is no sql so you'll be making documents and making your collections so this is pretty much the setup of raven db on windows